I um, I've done some adjusting for this, but I have to do some more adjusting. Both teams have won one game. Um, basically, um, yeah, so the West Coast, Hungry Jack Walkers, so Collingwood, Toyo Camrys. Um, yeah, um, there's an entry I've kind of done to Prentice to try and get West Coast kind of not too good. Um, and I'll just see what goes on from there, but he should be back for next week. Hopefully, um, and um, I'll see how it goes. Um, so on to the game. Both teams have got one win from the first week, and um, so it goes to two wins and almost like a, a light to get into the finals with only three weeks in the finals. Okay, let's go to the game. What's a dollar fifty um, West Coast two dollars fifty Collingwood. Hi, I'm Dennis Cometti. Get ready, it's time for Thursday Night Football. It's great to be back in Melbourne, where it seems like the only thing that grows here is the crime rate. Not sure what the weather is doing, and the trouble with weather forecasts is that they're right too often for us to ignore, and wrong too often for us to rely on. A fine rain will make things a bit slippery for this match. My ally in the box for this match will be Matthew Richardson. Welcome, Richo. Thanks, Dennis. I'm so happy to be here tonight for this clash. Tonight's clash between the Magpies and West Coast. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. would run under the cheers of their fans. Umpire tosses the coin. West Coast kicking to the left of screen. Round two. The siren is yet to sound. They say all things come to those who wait, but I'm starting to wonder if anyone will be around to hear it. We're underway. Nat Nui directs it down. Wellingham closes him down. He picks up the loose ball. Intercepted. Nicely intercepted by Shuey. Wins the hard ball. Picture perfect drop punt. Strong mark by Main. Main sends one up towards the wing. Marked by Hoskin Elliott. Boots it. Howard wins the marking contest. Bad kick. Resulting in a free to West Coast. Kicks. He gets it above the crowd. Bumps the big skin. Blair drops it. Trelaw decisively. Deft touch from Schofield. Picked by Power. Drops the ball. Neo read the play better than anyone else and takes possession. Finding the running player. Jams it on the boot. No contest for that man. Wellingham can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Darling kicks for goal. Now the kick is no good. 
West Coast are over the Magpies. Looks like he'll go out wide. White got under it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Great mark. Gets put to high. Now claims the ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Trelaw with the mark. You'll need a long range boomer from here. Over the top of the pad. Routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. 20 minutes from home. Pendlebury has a shot. It's a question of accuracy. The Magpies take the first goal. Pendlebury often has to shoot with very little time and space. He just has that innate sense of knowing where the goals are, even when he's being tappy. There's one for the time capsule. Pendlebrick celebrates. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Clean tap by Matt Newey. He comes down and the ball spills loose. Oscar Elliott with the tap. He lays off the pass. Approaching the goals now. Out of bounds it goes. The Ruckman battle for position. Tap. Grundy, Trelaw did not ease up. Redden gets the interception on the bounce. Side bottom plays it off to the running man. Side bottom did well then. Collingwood with, with a handy break, leading West Coast 12 to 1. Well, put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Congratulated by his teammates. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. The Eagles need to be far more competitive with their clearance work. They can't win games that way. Ha Ching spoots it. He grabs it. He wins the contested mark. He gets boot to the ball. How takes the mark. Slams it on the boot. Mackenzie marks. That kick has covered a very long distance. Butler marks it. I'm not sure which Out side that lad is playing for. Out on the full. White boots it. Side bottom has it. Puts boots the ball. Great grab. Now puts it on the boot. He's no oil painting, but look at him, climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Blair is a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. Trelaw takes a shot. Oh, he's missed it. The Eagles in trouble. They need to get a move on. Hearn has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Fix it. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Picked up under pressure. Sorry I spoke too soon. It goes across the line. Here we go again. Grundy punches it. Gio controls it. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. Nat Nui decisively. McKenzie guides it. Dunk gets the ball. He shows the quick hand. Nat Nui has got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him but he just needs to react a little faster. Ha Chings gets onto the ball. Goldsack knocks it down. He spills the ball and he's taken down. Grundy has the football. Hoskin Elliott gives the ball to the running man. Strong mark there. 40 minutes from home and he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Goal to Tom. He sinks his first goal. The Eagles already trailing by an uncomfortable margin. I gotta say, that's even a better goal the second time around.
His teammates rush over. All is in readiness. Grundy with first hands to the ball. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Gathers the ball. A short handball. Marston with a big tackle that spills the ball loose. Stabs the ball. Nice mark there. Matt Nui puts the ball in the hands of Fate. Side bottom picks it. Hutchings has it. Jams it on the boot now. He wins the contest. Reed, it's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. He kicks the ball, he grabs it, he boots it. Grundy, with beautiful hands above the head, he really is a great target to kick to. He comes off hands, Hutchings intercepts the ball. He marks the ball. Reed covers some ground with that effort. And good mark under the circumstances. Shuey slams it on the boot. H with the kick. Pasolik has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. The Magpies could bypass in their four targets and having shots on the run with very few marks inside board 50. Matt Nui bumps. Done. Good handball. Hearn scoops up the ball. He slams that on the boot. That's a mark. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Nice mark under pressure. Shuey boots it. Redden brings the contested ball. Jams it on the boot. Out marks it. The dominance we are seeing from Collingwood at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside 450. Grips gets the upper hand. He gets boot to the ball. Great hands. Shuey with the kick. Grundy gets the tap. Good tap from Chi. Oscar Elliott controls. Blair with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. He gathers the loose ball. White taps it. Shepard taps it. Grundy taps it. Dunk with the tap. Squeezes on a handball. He's heading for home. How unloads one towards goal. A top one. Collingwood leads by 19. Herm waiting to bring it back into play. He plays it to himself. Jams it on the boot now. The ball crosses the line. The ball is in the air. Deft touch from Grundy. He lays off the pass. Shuey handballs right as he's tackled by McKenzie. Grundy drives the ball towards goal. Deft touch from Greenwood. A favorable bounce. He kicks quickly. Schofield aims for his man on the ground. Collingwood could score the last four goals. Collingwood lead West Coast 26 to 1. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Nat Nui with a mighty fist. The loose ball picked up. Nothing presenting. He fires it to an empty space. Oscar Elliott with the kick. Schofield got under it. Schofield is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. The solo takes a shot. The ball's travelling. He's missed the goal. Collingwood have the edge over. The Eagles can this match. Not much on offer for Hearn. He plays on with a little kick. Jams it on the boot. He has space for an easy mark. Clears it. A great effort. Pasolo can no hurry as he prepares for the kick. A long way out. Boots it. Intercepted. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. 35 meters out. Shot at goal by Dow. To be generous, you'd say he was just right of the mark with that shot. The Magpies leads by 27. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time West Coast stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. For Solo, gets onto the ball. Head down, going for goal. The Magpies get the goal. Collingwood for life at West Coast. He 
scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Greenwood chose the goal on by the right signal. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Nat Nui with the punch gets the loose ball. And will get a ball up. Grundy totally outclassed in that contest. Gathers the ball, gets boot to leather. Great mark. Opportunity for Darren. 50 minutes from home. Jams it on the boot. Langer gets the upper hand. Boots it. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Picked by Hutchins. Side bottom picks it up. He takes control of the loose ball. He picks up the loose ball. Sends it on its way. She presents and takes the mark. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. This is the footy equivalent of Roper Dope. West Coast are barely hanging on right now. Collingwood could have been taking the time to size up the right option at the right time so they haven't been hurt on the turnover. And that's why they're on track to win this match. He gets boot to the ball. He grabs it, he lines it up with the goal. She pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. West Coast not enjoying this. Langdon will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Wells marks on the run. Picks it. Well, he gave it a shot. Shepard with the interception. She grabs that one. 15 meters out. We're perilously close to having the floodgates open. It's a bad feeling. This goal is vital. The Eagles starting to lag behind Collingwood with the scores 34 to 9. She is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. That replay shows just how good that goal was. He acknowledges the crowd. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Nat Nui wins the tap. Terrible timing by Moore. Oh, he's dropped it. He'll rue that one. Darling, a good crummer. His first possession. Going for goal number one. Lecrac has just shaved the post. It's a behind. The goal eluding them each time. Collingwood have been taking the time to size up the right option at the right time so they haven't been hurt on the turnover. And that's why they're on track to win this match. He gets boot to the ball. Cripps gets the upper hand. Puts boot to ball. Hill marks it. Sending it on its way. Redden marks the ball. Hits it across the ground. Nice hands. Chi slams one on the boot for goal. Nice work from Chi. They'll have to put in a lot of effort, but they could still catch up. I gotta say, that's even a better goal the second time around. She with the goal, and he runs back into position. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Deft touch from Nat Nui. Guided down nicely by Wellingham. Tapped by Main. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. The Magpies keep dominating in the air, and the scoreboard reflects it. Puts boot to ball. Side bottom. Marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. Blair with the ball. He steadies now in front of goal. He boots it. It's a mark. Boots it. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Shuey slams the ball to his boot. Butler puts it on the boot. Side bottom presents and takes the mark. The Magpies keep dominating in the air and the scoreboard reflects it. Moore kicks the ball. A nice contested mark. He gets boot to the ball. Good mark. He boots it. Redden really forced to earn that mark. Chips it down towards half forward.
Time to check the stats. Richo. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contests. 19 to 17. The stats show that both teams are practically kick for kick, with neither willing to let the other have a kicking advantage. Thanks for sharing that with us, Richo. Get back to the action. Set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. Nat Nui punches it. He's got the footy in his hands. Side bottom with the handball out of the pack. Dunk slams it on the boot. Trelawk marks. 30 minutes from half. Going for goal number one. Trelawk with the goal. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. The lead has been increased. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. He acknowledges the crowd. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Nat Nui with a mighty fist. Ball up in the center square. Nat Nui aims for his man on the ground. Guided by Golsak. Golsak approaches tackles like some people approach chocolate. He gathers the loose ball. Shepard kicks it out of the congestion. The Collingwood big men are not pulling down many marks inside the 50, with most of the Collingwood scoring opportunities coming from shots on the run. Golsak kicks it. How? With the spill. 
Hill taps it. Ha Chings gets onto the ball. He hits it. He hits it. Hill scoops it up. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Nat Newick wins the tap. Terrible timing by Grundy. He gathers the loose ball. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Oscar Elliott taps it. Wellingham aims for his man on the ground. Shepard aims for his man on the ground. Tapped by Nat Newick. Nat Newick aims for his man on the ground. Takes control of the bouncing ball. The bigger the shove, the bigger the love. That drop punt works well for Langdon. That kick was asking a bit much of Greed. He runs into the goal. He's running hot, Richard. Yep, Dennis, he's a class act. He's racking up possessions. Goes short to the hand pass. Intercept by Redden. He's heading for home. Hutchings unloads one towards goal. The Eagles need a score here. The Eagles could just been poor at reading the ball off the packs. They need to get back to basic. Both ruck. Grundy with the tap. McKenzie aims for his man on the ground. Dunn there to mop it up. Vasolik with the running catch. They say you miss 100% of the shots you never take, so hopefully he can just shrug that one off. Burn is a pretty decent kick of the footy, but you can always be better. He takes a strong mark. McGovern with the kick. Maston takes the mark. Cripps with a strong mark. He slams that on the boot for Solo. With real good use of the body. He gets boot to the ball. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Well, Dennis, I just think he's having fun with them now. Squeezes on a handball. He runs for home. Trims the grass with that one. Opportunity for Fasolo. 50 metres from home. He's on a 30 degree angle. Dunn going for number one. Look at that. He's put up close. Pendlebury puts them further in front. Falling with lead. The Eagles by 25. There's one for the time capsule. Pendlebury happy, the Ruckman. Nat Nui just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid go. He picks it up plainly, puts boot to ball. How? With the ball.
He slams that on the boot. He steals the ball on the bounce. Side bottom making his way onto the field. It's a ball up. Just adjusting the team is um, North Melbourne absolutely trying to thrash it in the first time that they come back. I had to stop around to a bit too cold in it. And I'm um, just trying to adjust and I'm trying to adjust West Coast spot. So I'm um, just adjusting like throughout this. I'm trying to have a certain team to the final. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. The Magpies by 26. It's just like in the last week, you could have an injury that goes for the whole final. So, if you're the top team in week two and then you actually win the game in week three and have an injury like to like one of your best players, and that will affect the whole of my final series. And, um, yeah, basically, I can't do anything about that. And, like, for the finals, it'll only be like a, a injury for the actual game. So, you can think like maybe they'll they won't win, but like some team. But if there's a the right injury happen, then it can happen. So injuries are on. It'll be like to affect that game only, and the actual so for the whole final series. So you might play someone with an injury, big time injury, just for week three, the final week, and then that and play them at some point during the finals. So, like, the top team may not be as good as the eighth team, kind of. And it's like that, and it still can be like that, but usually it won't be. It'll be the top team. Trelawick is relieved to see that one go through. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Grundy taps it. Dunk sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Was that a throw? I think it was. Bumps the big skin. Hutchings claims it. Chip kick along the way. The contest, no match for him. 65 meters out. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Nat Nui with a ton of weight on his shoulders. He's got to kick this vital goal. Langdon has got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. Sending it on its way, Hoskin Elliott marks it. He gets boot to the ball. He grabs it. How puts it on the boot. Main gets the upper hand. Low kick. He misses the mark. He's like he's on a tightrope at the moment. Look at that fancy footwork. Opportunity now for Dunn. Too far off to score. Sure. Kick the goal by Dunn. Pope conceded possession. Greenwood injured. No way he'll come back after an injury like that one. But Matt Price could just try and kick the kick out there and it barely had to come a loose ball in the field. And all the injuries in the first two weeks carry over into the final series as well. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. If they're bad injuries. Celebration time after that one for Pendlebury. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Matt Nui wins the tap. Terrible timing by Grundy. Gets the ball free. Jams it on the boot now. Trelawick, the better man there. Sends the ball inside his attacking 50. He steadies now in front of goal. 35 meters out. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. That's a very well executed goal. This kick stretches the lead. Calling with in front. It's done. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep it cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are and conjuring something out of nothing. He acknowledges the crowd. The Rucks prepare to go at it to this bound.
Nat Nui can really set the tone of the game with his rough work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. Sending it on its way. It's a mark. He slams that on the boot. Kept his composure then. He's got a hold of that one. Strong mark there. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. The long Collingwood leads by 46. Herm has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost the... Barker got under it. Jody to this from home. Going for goal number one. Nice kick. Barker getting his first. The Magpies could score the last four goals. The Magpies in front. I'll oh, put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. He's enjoying that goal, and why not? A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Punch by that Nui. Wellingham with the tap. Hutchings aims for his man on the ground. Oscar Elliott decisively. Clean tap by Hutchings. Deft touch from White. Butler gets it on the bounce. Boots it. Dowling claims it. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. Dowling for the kick at goal. Richo, help me out here. What was he thinking? Your guess is as good as mine. They've got a behind. Now they need to switch on because there's a real chance the opposition can go coast to coast and put them further behind. Chris, seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. He slams that on the boot. Adams with good strong hands. He takes a strong mark. Hutchings boots it. Great hands. He boots it. Hill misses the ball. He grabs it off the ground. He gets a fist to it. He takes possession. Cripps with the mark. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Redden kicks hard along the boundary line. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. If the Eagles forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50, they just need to be given a shot. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Langdon looking for a lead. He plays it to himself. Choose to kick it. Marked by Reed. Choose to kick it. Dunn claims it. Puts boot to ball. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Sending it on its way for Solo. Gets some real air time. Howe got no chance at that one. Marston looking to make them pay for that turnover. Grundy gets onto the ball. Deft touch from Adams. He collects the loose ball. Mort with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Collingwood had one to their tally. Grundy kicks his first. Collingwood with the advantage as they lead the Eagles 80 to 24. Grundy isn't the biggest kick in the league, but he makes up for that with his accuracy.
Boy, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Grundy loves that. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Clean tap by Matt Nui. He has the ball. Adams with the tap. He controls the bouncing ball. Elliott has it. Let's have the shot at goal. Is as good as the delivery. Well, if he can hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. It's gone through for a magnificent behind. The Magpies in front. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time the Eagles stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. That's a nice, strong mark. McGovern kicks it. He taps it. Shuey tackles him to the ground. How? With handball. His run-up looks promising. He gets the behind. Collingwood leads by 58. There could be a short option here. So well timed. 35 metres out. Going for goal number one. Elliot just manages to sink it. The Magpies could be ascendancy over the West Coast, leading the match 88 to 24. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Very happy with that kick. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Grundy without a touch. The clearance by Nat Nui is in his possession. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Good mark by Clacroix. 30 metres out. It's an understatement to say they really need this one. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Lacroix is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Celebration time after that one for Lacroix. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Nat Nui with the mighty fist. Shuey gets the ball. Redden with the mighty fist. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Three for the point. They really needed a goal there. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Nice mark under pressure. Wells sends the ball on its way. Nice mark under pressure. Reed needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. How? With the ball, he slams that on the boot. Hoskin Elliott gets the mark without contest. Matt Nui with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Slips through his fingers. Reed taps it. How? Gets onto the ball. Redden with great hands. Choose to kick it. Great grab. 50 minutes from home. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Grundy with the kick. Takes that one strongly. A massive kick by Gosa. Strong mark. Hutchings really wears his heart on his sleeve. He grabs it. He slams that on the boot. Hill gets onto the ball. What are you doing, son? The mark will be paid. Oscar Elliott slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato, quickly disposed of by Grundy. Hands like dinner plates. Kicks. Hands like dinner plates. That's how the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Grundy shoots the goal. Gets the behind. Collingwood with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading the Eagles 89 to 31. Almost a touch of synchronized string about that mark. That was the pair, 30 meters out. Not the easiest of angles, this one. 
He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. The Magpies beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 95 to 31. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Celebration time after that one for Berker. All is in readiness. Nat Nui punches it. He gets his hands on the footy. Let's go to Richer now and take a look at the stats. Although the Magpies have had 29 handballs, the Eagles are on 11, which isn't much of a difference at this stage. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Eagles are slightly ahead with 42 to 34. Thanks for that, Richard. Two quarters down and only two to go. Nat Nui is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Grundy. Able to grab it on the half volley. Wellingham going for number one. It goes through for a behind. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Langdon waiting to bring it back into play. Langdon kicks hard along the boundary line. Shepard picks it up. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Dowling with the interception. Leclerc misses the goals. Fair to say that'll have little impact on the scoreboard. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. Langdon sends the ball on its way. Wellingham gets the interception on the bounce. And we have a ball up. Nat Nui with the hit. Right guides it. Batted down nicely by Toscan Elliott. With the ball now. Hutchings with the interception. Hutchings taken high and he'll get the free kick. Sends it on its way. Over the top of the pack. Nat Nui going for number one. Goal. When he's on song, he sings a very good song. Well, they've stemmed the flow with that goal, but they need to carry that momentum on if they're going to avoid the floodgates bursting. Nat Nui got a really good footballing brain. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. His teammates rush over. The Rucks prepare to go at it to this bounce. Nat Nui got a fist on it. He has the ball. He shows the quick hands. Jams it on the boot now. Butler, the better man there. Bumps the big skin. Nice hands. 25 metres out. Gee, you wouldn't like to miss from here. The crack pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. They're doing some much-needed plastic surgery to that scoreboard. He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. The crack with the goal, and he runs back into position. 
the Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Nat Nui with the hit. Squeezes out a handball. Out onto the ball. Bumped by Grundy. Is in his possession. He's had lots of touches this match. Well, the Magpies coach will be grinning from ear to ear. There's nothing more pleasing for a coach than seeing a strong team cohesion and discipline. And that's been on display right up to now. Collingwood has barely popped up a free. The Magpies are losing the clearances and they are sitting a kick behind the play and are able to stream forward in numbers and it's working well for them. Good mark. A stab kick from Maskin and has space for an easy mark. McKenzie with the kick. Marks. The Eagles haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. She getting into position for the kick. She takes a shot. That's a goal. That's three in a row for the Eagles. They're trying hard, but it won't do much to help at this stage. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first right. Very happy with that kick. All is in readiness. Nat Nui got a fist on it. He's got the football now. He gives the ball away. Jams it on the boot now. Nice work from Darling. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. He'll be happy with that. What a timely goal. They're doing some much needed plastic surgery to that scoreboard. loving that replay <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it very happy with that kick all is in readiness punch by that Louis has it now they've conceded possession good tap from Hutchings tackle but gets the handball off Shepard lobs the pass. Puts the head down as he runs in. Wells has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. Wells is a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. Main handballs to the man on the move. Passes by hand. Blair with a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Grundy wins the contested ball. Grundy unloads one towards goal. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. Collingwood leads by 39. Not much on offer for her. Greenwood wins the marking contest. 30 metres out. Greenwood shoots the goal. Chalk up a goal for the Magpies. This kick stretches the lead. Collingwood by 45. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Greenwood with the goal, and he runs back into position. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Deft touch from Matt Nui. Golsack bumps. Howe doesn't waste that opportunity. Keeps it close to the ground. McKenzie with the mark. Sends it on its way. Nice mark there. Cripps sends the ball on its way. Should we looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one? Here's a chance for Matt Nui. Testing shot outside the 50. Marked by Willingham. 45 metres out. They need a goal to keep that door ajar. Nice goal from Willingham. West Coast are really being fun. Wellingham is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love.
The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a go. Wellingham knows that was something special. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Nat Nui, it's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Shui kicks the ball. He takes a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Darling wins the contested ball. This game is slowly slipping out of their grasp. They must convert here. That's two in a row for West Coast. The margins closed a little, but they still have a long way to go. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Dowling with the goal, and he runs back into position. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Matt Nui really gets onto this one. Hutchings kicks from the pack. She picks it up. She steers the ball towards goal. That's got to hurt it. Just missed. West Coast not enjoying this. Langdon would like to think he hits all his targets, and for the most part, he does that. He slams that on the boot. He gets the upper hand. White boots it. Strong mark there. He kicks it long. Kept his composure then. Jams it on the boot now. Goes short for the hand pass. Matt Nui kicks. Good mark by Hutchins. Low spearing kick. Strong mark. Reed's a smart guy, but he's got to keep it cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Sending it on its way, Lacroix marks it. He gets boot to the ball. Gold sack with good strong hands. Puts power behind that kick. Done. Just wanted it more then. Bumps the big skin. And the mark will be played. Trims the grass with that one. Nice mark under pressure. Kick by Hutchings. A great effort. Slams it on the boot. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. He has space for an easy mark. Oscar Elliott with a low spearing kick. Redden trimming the grass with that kick. Done for Rex. Wellingham comes away with the ball. Wellingham with the tap. The crack with the mighty fist. Bounces favorably for Hill. Dowling with the tap. Langdon with the pass. A cool, calm head. Clearing it out of defense. He gets his hands on the footy. Reed is streaming past and gets the footy. Has clearly been shopping at Clangers or us. Puts the head down as he runs in. Nice uncontested mark for the crack. 25 meters out. And the fans are riding this one home. The Eagles could score the last three goals. It's still an uphill battle. Lacroix wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Lecrack celebrates. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. I think the Eagles mids will be saying to the rest of the team that they've lived up to their end of the deal. They're dominating the clearances, but they aren't seeing any reward for their work on the scoreboard. He slams that on the boot. Hutchings with the ball. He boots it. He wins the contested mark. Jams it on the boot now. Dunk marks it. Puts it to ball. Oscar Elliott gets the mark without contest. Low kick. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Puts marks it. Jams it on the boot. Howe marks on the run. Howe. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep it cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Redden with the ball. Sending it on its 
way. He gets it under pressure. Park Chings with the kick. Wellingham with real good use of the body. Wellingham taps the ball for goal. He'll be happy with that. Wellingham gets number two. They're making a charge for the lead. They'll have to get some more points on the board though. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Wellingham is relieved to see that one go through. The Ratman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Nat Nui thumps it forward. Whack. Have that, mate. Moves it quickly by hand. Approaching the goals now. Lecrac has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. 40 meters out. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Nat Nui has the chance to add one more to his talent. To be generous, he'll say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. Well, they've got a point, but it won't be enough to get them back into this. Langdon is a pretty decent kick of the footy, but you can always be better. He boots it. He grabs it. He kicks the ball. Done. Just wanted it more then. He slams that on the boot. Good mark. Powell kicks the ball. Side bottom claims the ball. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Clearing it with ease here. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Bumps the big skin. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. He wins the contest. Trims the grass with that one. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Hoskin Elliott. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Greenwood shoots for goal. Score for Collingwood. Put a cork in that goal, that's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Smiles all round. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Grundy got a fist on it, is in his possession. Oscar Elliott threading the needle right there. Blair is able to grab it on the half volley. The loose ball picked up by Schofield. Quick kick out of the pack by Petrie. The players have decided to take advantage. A great effort. Redden can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Hutchings boots it. That's a mark. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Petrie has a kick. The ball's travelling. Sends it home with a huge kick. West Coast need to put in everything they have to try and turn this one around. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. His face says it all. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Clean tap by Grundy. McKenzie bucked that play. This is high tech as it can for. Petrick Weeds takes possession. Takes possession. Golsack a good drummer. Now drops the mark. Hutchings throws it. Clear as day. Side bottom kicks. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Hoskin Elliott has no problems mopping up the loose ball. Mistakes are rare for him. Grundy has a kick. The ball's up. Oh, and it's missed. The Magpies are on top of West Coast. Hurt to bring it in. 
for a Lord will be upset with that. Grabs the footy. Aish. I've got no idea how he managed to get that out. And the ball goes sailing out of bounds. We'll get a ball in. All eyes on the ball as the Ruckman battle it out. Grundy punches. A favourable bounce. Snicks the ball away in time. The ball goes over the line and out of play. The umpire will toss it back in. It's a good throw in. Grundy directs it down. The ball in the hands of Hoskin Elliott. How taps. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Hutchings boots it. Great grab. Schofield's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Yo, with a strong mark. He kicks it long. Just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. He knocks it down. Redden hits it. Blair knocks it down. Shuey gets onto the ball. Let's go to Richo now and take a look at the stats. Two teams, practically identical in stats, yet the Magpies managed to be miles ahead on the scoreboard. Insightful, Richo. time for the final corner. You can always rest easy knowing that you gave 100%. Win or lose. Aish with the interception. Scoops up the bouncing ball. McKenzie picks it up. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young lethal Lee Matthews. The hand posts should be cowering in feet. The Magpies lead West Coast 115 to 89. That replay shows just how good that goal was. He's enjoying that goal, and why not? Ruckman awaiting the bounce. First hand's important. Guided by McKenzie. Hands it out to open space. Grips with the mighty fist. Deft touch from Golsan. Oscar Elliott aims for his man on the ground. Side bottom gets the tap. Shuey made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Clean tap by Darling. Langdon with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. She gets the tap. And he's heading for home. Wells hit him up and up. Takes possession. Nicely intercepted by Latra. West Coast get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. The alarm bells are ringing for the Eagles. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. Celebration time after that one for Clatra. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Grundy, leave the pinatas for the kids. Redden feeds it wide. A great effort. Hill, he's got good knowledge of the game and you can see the events unfolding in front of him. But he just needs to react a little faster. Chris kicks it. Reed takes the mark. He slams that on the boot. Gold sack with the ball. Sending it on its way. He grabs it. Picture perfect drop punt. Wins the hard ball. Marston sends the ball on its way. Kicks. Good mark by Hutchins. Gets boot to high. Wins the hard ball. Nice hands. Fix it. Redden marks. Looks like he panicked there. Hill spills it. Crisp taps it. That is the ball. Approaching the goals now. He picks it up. He just can't get out of the action. Tapped by Crisp. Out on the full. West Coast free kick. 
Scripps with a clinical drop pass. Nice contested mark by Sidebottom. Sidebottom told me recently that he really loves playing for this club and you can really see it in his attitude on the field. I think he's going to play for this club for a long, long time. Nat Nui scoops up the ball. Grundy by hand. Goldsack with the kick. Hoskin Elliott drops it. He steals the ball on the bounce. Hutchings onto the ball. He's evading ghosts. Only a behind. West Coast need to put in everything they have to try and turn this one around. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. 30 metres from home. Dowling with quite a challenge in front of him. What a great goal by Dowling. Good things coming through as that's his third. The Eagles have scored the last two goals. They're gaining momentum here. Well, put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Dowling loves that. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Nat Newick with the punch. Redden delivers a nice bump for Grundy. His mistake costs him a possession. Controlled by Lacroix. Does well to keep it in play. They've conceded possession. Wellingham kicks it behind. The Eagles are starting to drop behind. Langdon looking for a lead. He plays it to himself. Keeps it close to the ground. Almost a touch of synchronized swing about that mark. That was the peg. Gross. He's a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. Reed sends it out to open space. Side bottom. Slams the ball to his boot. He lines it up with the goal. Gets boot to leather. Nat Nui can passes to space and hopes for the best. The umpire allows play to continue. Goal to Collingwood. Greenwood kicking his half dozen. That's impressive. Collingwood by three goals. He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. Greenwood loves that. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Guided by Bat Nui. He's got the footy in his hands. Shepard gets the upper hand. Shepard may not be the first guy you'd follow in the battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Darling has a kick. It's in the air. Straight into the post. The Eagles still with some work to do to catch up with the Magpies. Langdon assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Almost a touch of synchronized swing about that mark. That is the peg. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Redden on a 30 degree angle right here. A good mark under the circumstances. Good chance here for Chi. Looking for another goal here. Gets the distance. The Eagles trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. She, it's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. His teammates rush over. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Clean tap out of the ruck. Golsack with the mighty fist. Grundy decisively. Nat Nui controls. Tapped by Wells. Guided by Crisp. Gathers the ball. Gains possession. Nice interception. The umpire wants to ball it up. Punched by Nat Nui. Well, a high tackle count more often than not suggests that the team with the most tackles are where the ball isn't, and that's been true for the Eagles. Hutchings taps the ball. He gets the loose ball. Hill gets onto the ball. Crisp gets onto the ball. Wellingham tackles him to the ground. He knocks it down. That's an elite skill handballing when being tackled. He wins the contested mark. 
Grundy feeds it wide. Vasoli claims it. That had some power behind it. Greenwood, the better man there. 50 metres from home. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Going for goal number three. Trelaw just manages to sink it. That's his third. He's doing his job out there. He's got the evasiveness and the flashy tricks of a star. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first rate. Very happy with that kick. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Nat Nui obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Gee, a long kick there. He takes a strong mark. Sending it on its way. Grundy finds the ball. Fix it. Great mark under pressure. 35 metres out. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Trelaw goes goalward. It's true. This kick puts them further into the lead. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. He loves it. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Nat Nui really gets onto this one. Chewy will take the three after the ball was thrown. Choose to kick it. Over the top of the pack. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Nat Nui launches it. White wins the marking contest. Kicked in a flurry. Good mark on the run. Butler obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Shepard kicks it. Good mark. Concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Darling kicks for goal. Oh, and it's gone through for behind. The Eagles do the score here. Looks like he's going to go long. Strong mark. She with a chance if he keeps a cool head. She shoots. A magnificent kick right through the middle. He's enjoying himself right now. He's smiling like the only shark at a shipwreck. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. She shows the goal and fire the right signal. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Punched by that Nui. H with the football. Passed by side bottom. Handballs from the tackle. Side bottom kicks for goal. He's missed the goal. Collingwood bite 17. Burn. He's good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. He comes off hands. Blair quits it. He gets a fist to it. Yeah, I don't know if um, Collingwood can hang on. He's a shot at goal. That's a point. So it's 18 points of difference, so three goals. Uh, I think they can hang on them. So much when West Coast come back. He's looking to add another. The goal for the Magpies. Trying to up by four goals. Trelaw must have amazing intuition because he can react so fast to situations. And uh, I'm just trying to have it like this to have it ready for the next game to get it kind of right. 
I think that West Coast has had more shots a goal, and Collingwood's just kicked a, a few goals for their shots. So, um, yeah, so hopefully towards the end of the actual um, quarter, it'll be like that. And, of course, Matthew Prindis has a comeback for the last game, so we'll see how they go with that. something special. All is in readiness. Tap to advantage. Bump by Hutchings. Howard feeds it wide. Blair has it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Scoops up the ball. Deft touch from Power. Batted down nicely by Dunn. Approaching the goals now. Moves it quickly by hand. Trelaw delivers a nice bump for McKenzie. Dishes it off to the running player. Kicked by Schofield. Redden with the mark. Jams it on the boot. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Low kick. Wellingham looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. He had perfect control over the ball right up until the minute he kicked it. That won't help. They need a goal. Langdon can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Darling takes a shot. Darling gets the goal. The Eagles are trailing the match post. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are and conjuring something out of nothing. Celebration time after that one for Darling. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Clean tap by that Nui. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Oscar Elliott comes away with the ball. Batted down nicely by that Nui. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Marks. Dump kicks. Greenwood claims it. He steadies now in front of goal. Too far out to score. Sure. Going for goal number seven. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. The Magpies with a three goal lead. He's searching for his teammates. Hearn playing on out of the goal square. Hearn kicks hard along the boundary line. And over the boundary line she goes. Shoulders locked. Eyes on the ball. Guided by Moore. Clean tap by Hutchings. Kept alive under pressure. He takes control of the loose ball. And now we'll have the ball up. Natanui hits it. And the ball goes out of play. A good fist. Hoskin Elliott takes possession. Trelaw takes a contested now. Trelaw drives the ball towards goal. The Magpies by four goals. I gotta say that's even a better goal the second time around. Trelaw with the goal and he runs back into position. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. So I really liked it. Like I don't know if you're worried about it or if you're watching like who was going to win at that one point even though that far down it seemed like West Coast could actually win that's like a real AFL game um, kind of but said maybe there shouldn't be that many points down but I like this like getting like a real AFL game and stuff and it's just a momentum swung and then Collingwood actually um, kicked enough goals kind of to win but said look they're still kicking goals here and um, yeah it's like I guess like um, they're going to lose over, so, said they put in a really good effort, and um, this is how we're going to leave it, and of course, Mark.
on its own. Matt Prentice is going to come back into the Eagles team to try and win and get the finals in the final week. Um, in Yes, which will be a few games though before the, that's actually worked out. Matt Newick with a big fist on it. Redden kicking the ball free of the pack. Reed presents and takes the mark. Puts boots the ball. Side bottom with the mark. He brings it out of the pack. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Moore goes his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. It comes off hands. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Maston marks the ball. He kicks the ball. Good mark. Hutchings kicks the ball. It's a mark. Works it across the ground. Wellingham alone for the uncontested mark. Distance could be the problem. Bumps the big skin. Intercepted by Gosa. Right bumps. Matt Nui shoots. Goal to the Eagles. He'll be happy with goal number two. That's two in a row for West Coast. This game can still go either way. Matt Nui obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. Matt Newick knows that was something special. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Matt Newick thumps it forward. Goldsack gets the ball. Goldsack has got some good stability, but the coach would hope he can improve this balance just a little bit. Matt Newick is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Hoskin Elliott cuts off the ball. Matt Newick taps. Guided by Dunn. Marston gets the tap. Controlled by McKenzie. He's got the football now. Gets boot to high. Wellingham with the mark. Trims the grass with that one. The contest, no match for him. Chris can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. He slams that on the boot. Reed marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. It's a mark. Wellingham lines up. They say hard work never killed anybody, but clearly West Coast are not willing to take that chance. Your final word on today's game, Richo? The Magpies won the inside contest, spread harder. The uncontested ball was moved around really well. They had that elite poise in tight situations when it was really required. Great win. The final score of this match is the Magpies 148, the Eagles 136. Well, that's it. I'll let Richo say the goodbyes. It's been a pleasure, Dennis. We'll catch you next time. Um, yeah, um, West Coast actually ended up with 15 side 50s after really struggling. And Collingwood ended up with 42, so it evened out after all that. And um, I've tried to get... Um, get like um, the tactics like about right so I think they're about right and just see it Matt Prudis back into the West Coast team and maybe they'll win the but said um yeah so it's exciting so it's my um didn't get three three votes and Brody Grundy actually gets three votes and he's following him with two and literally with one and I think Brody Grundy's going really well in the actual um, brown line. so so that's what's going on and the actual leader, um, yeah, at the moment. Doing it kind of like a deli in kind of. And, um, yeah. I'll see the final, um, goals from and points and, like, shots they did. So, um, it's six goals to three to seven goals, five, so. So that's about how I won it for the whole game. It's just maybe not to kick as many goals. It was, it was like that, like more exciting in, so it's alright. But so, um, yeah, so. So that was good, and um, yeah, on to the next game.